You bet. Come on, what? An auditor. An auditor? Like a journalist? You can't do that, sir. You don't even ask me the permission to take my picture. Oh, okay. I am wanting to know if you're here because they had concerns about the filming in the post office. Yeah, that's exactly what they had concerns over. How they're operating right now is not how the post office is supposed to operate. Gandalf, right? <laughs> I, I, you got magic powers, right? I wish I had those kinds of magic powers. Thanks for fighting for our rights. Yeah, absolutely. Take care now. guys we are at the Renton USPS it is January 30th 2023 doing a re-audit see how much freedom they love around here Hello. How are you? Good. I'd like to get a stamp, please. How many, sir? Just one. Just one single stamp? Actually, yeah, I think I got, yeah, sorry, there's a dollar. Is the postmaster on site, by the way? No. Oh, okay. This building doesn't have a postmaster. You don't have a postmaster? No. Huh? This is a small post office, so only three clubs working. Okay. We do not have a supervisor, so okay. if you want to talk to someone, you got to go other post office. Okay. I'm sorry, I had to come down here anyway. What happened in the last two years? There was a postmaster here two years ago and a supervisor. In this building, doesn't have a supervisor, postmaster for almost 10 years, sir. Who are you? I'm the postmaster. You're the postmaster. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's weird. I was here uh, two years no. ago and filmed it. No. You probably... Someone's come in here. Huh. Interesting. So you're okay. saying even two years ago there... Hopefully you don't take a picture of my face. Oh, I am right now. You can't do that, sir. You don't even ask me the permission to take my picture. Oh, okay. You can't put it onto the whatever it's do. Do not do that. Gotcha. Do you, you understand? You want to I have a right to. Gotcha. You want to call the postal inspector? No, I'm not. But I'm asking to you not the my face to do not recording the my face. Well, it says on your wall over there that I can. You shouldn't do that. You need my permission. You do not have my oh, permission. You know what? Thank you. The district manager sent me an email. I can show it to you if you'd like. Rod Spurgeon? Send me an email saying, you literally can't stop me. You're not the authorized personnel. So if you want, do something else. You don't ask me to. You should have asked me first. You want to take a, what? What's wrong? You don't have a, you don't ask me to permission to record. Well, it's right over there on the wall. It says I can. Here you go, receipt. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Please don't put it on there somewhere. Yeah, it's going to go on YouTube. You shouldn't have to do that, sir. What? What are you talking about? You put it on. You did. You have to ask me the Oh, no, I don't. No. Yeah, it's the First Amendment. What about my wife? I don't want to go my face to the YouTube. There is no right to privacy in public. Oh. We're in public right now. Okay, can you leave? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I just appreciate the conversation, though. Yeah, yeah. You want to drop that up? Okay, do you want to receive? 
Well, guys, it looks like this Postal Service office has not learned the lesson. That is deeply unfortunate. They want to film him in you and then put it on the YouTube video. He's going to film him to you and then put it on the YouTube video. And this is what happens, folks. They make a stink about it and they don't know the law and then they get everybody ginned up. There you go. It's disappointing, man. You should know better than that. I need to overnight some things. Okay, but it's all. Okay. Yeah, I know it's already. So it's not going to be Wednesday. tomorrow. Okay. Wow. Yeah, you go. Thank you. Whenever you're ready, let me know, okay? Thank you. Thank you. So you don't have permission. Okay. It says on your wall I can over there. You cannot it's harassing me. You cannot do that. I don't know, ma'am, how many times I have to tell you the rules for conduct on postal property are on the wall. You can take a picture of anything else, but I don't know. You cannot do the right picture. Ma'am, it's the law. Wow, two years later. <laughs> I'm talking about platinum and gold two years ago. Yeah, you know, it's always weird to me that platinum is, I'll just get something that comes in. It's always weird to me that platinum is worth less than gold. You know, that's always been weird to me. You'd think platinum would be at the top but I guess they just don't use it as much. I mean, I think that's what goes to show the yeah, well, gold. Two years ago. Yeah. Remember that we were in the, in the uh, post office. That is crazy. You just rolled in here like this. Well, yeah, yeah. Did you keep those silver coins? Or were they bars? Remember, you were you were at like a, a a restaurant or a bar or something. And you made some deal for some art for some coins, some silver coins. Whoa. I deal with money all the time. Oh, right? gotcha. I didn't realize that's what you did. Okay, never mind. But anyway, that's what I do. <coughs> right now, I'm uh, trying to collect silver wafers. Gotcha. Because, uh, yeah, I used to see this. I, I wish I had my phone with me. Well, I'll tell you what. If you want to, the people from uh, on my channel and YouTube love you. They just thought you were great. They were. I, this one guy was talking about our conversation regarding platinum and silver and gold and all that. So if you want to say hi. <laughs> but anyway, no, I got a uh, friend of mine. Uh, you're probably familiar with him. His name's Tony. Tony the Tiger. <laughs> Tony the Tiger. <laughs> Uh, if you're talking about the cereal, then yeah, yeah. I, but I, had, I wish I would have brought my phone in. I just don't have any pockets, you know, and I don't like sitting on it. Gotcha. Fair enough. Fair All enough. right. Anyway, I, I gotta check my every time I come in here. Uh, the friend goes, "What takes you so long?" Well, anyway, I don't want to be a part of uh, yeah. delaying you, man. You take yeah. care. Yeah. No, it's good to see you. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, it's so serendipitous. Take care, man. Well, that was cool, guys. How random is that? That guy was super cool the first time we were here at the post office. Well, I gotta say, guys, I have no idea what happened to the postmaster, because as you saw, he came out and said, I am the postmaster. That's within the last, that was two years ago, just shy of two years ago. And now that lady's all saying there's not been a postmaster for 10 years, no supervisor at it. Crazy. <laughs> you were 
were kidding. No, you I was. You literally. <laughs> 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 I'm going to have to come back here once a year and schedule a post office trip with you, man. <laughs> you take care. Oh my God, guys. He just came back and <laughs> brought a picture of Sony the Tiger back with him. Oh my God. That's hilarious. Well, you guys know what I'm going to have to do now. I'm going to have to do a public records request to find out who the postmaster and or supervisor is for this station because I'm pretty sure that clerk just was not being truthful with me. Yes. Wow, did you hear that, guys? She's just totally ginning stuff up around here. That's nuts. Good thing I came back to Renton. I mean, obviously, it doesn't look like the police are going to be showing up this time, but this is crazy. She's just acting completely unprofessional, just making stuff up. Nuts. What's that? I'm actually following up from uh, my uh, being here two, well, just shy of two years ago, and uh, came back to check in with the postmaster, and all I've found since I've been here is tomfoolery -ish. It's oh. just not okay. I mean, this the lady that was here that I was talking to said, I asked for the postmaster, she said, there hasn't been a postmaster in 10 years. He literally came out on video, I have it on YouTube now, mm -hmm. saying I'm the postmaster. That was just shy of two years ago. Okay. And she was here then. Yeah, yeah. No, I was just saying. So who's the postmaster? I have no clue, bro. I'm just here to pick oh. up the express note. Yeah, this is crazy. The I mean, seem a little uncomfortable with you filming. I'm not trying to force anything on you. No, no, I know. I get that, man. You're being totally cool. That's fine. No, no. I just, uh, I don't know why they're, why they're doing this because they've had the training just after two years ago, a sergeant from the police department showed up, called way, way high up to the USPS, uh -huh. and Rod Spurgeon said, you guys can't do what you're doing, and okay. said, here's some training, get better. Yeah. And, well, you know, I mean, I'm not trying to tell No, I get, hey, no, 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 I don't not take it like that at all, man. It seem a little uneasy. No, I get it. I so get it. I would just let you know. How you know, I could get out of here real quick if, because I had an encounter with that blonde lady just short of two years ago. I think she's some sort of supervisor or something. If I could just ask her a couple questions, I'll be out of here because this is confusing me. Because uh -huh. okay. she was here when that sergeant from the police department showed up and we all had a conversation and she said on video everything was good and it's clearly not good right now. Well, it's clearly bad. I hear, I hear you. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's bad all over because I work at Vashon too and it's it's... It's worse than this, believe it or not. But I just, I just, so it sounds like I need to go to Vashon. I'm not saying that, but uh, I no, just, that's all right, man. I play poker. I get it. Faces is just like because I've been working here for a while, and I don't want them to feel uneasy because it is just women in this. I get it. I, look, I, I ain't looking to do anything other than just I'm gathering content for a story. That's all I'm okay, doing. No, I was just letting. I was just letting. No, no, I get it, man. You're being you're being right nice now. and everything. I got no problem. See, guys, that's the kind of person we want getting a paycheck from this place, not the other way around, right there. Excuse me. Crazy. It's not good, bro. I just don't want to have them all scared and stuff. No, it's okay. Let's do your job. Let's come outside for a sec. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Oh, thank you. No, no, no. I, I get it, man. I, I'll say this. I, uh,. I appreciate you saying that. Part, part of what I do is I go around, I gather content for news at post offices. Bro, right? I understand. I watch YouTube and I've oh. seen these videos all the time. Oh, okay. So it's like all right. I, I understand what's going on and yeah. I understand like, yeah, they are a little slow with the post. I know it's just how they're how they're operating right now. It's not how the post office is supposed to operate. But yes. I'm not here to, I'm not here to say who supposed to be operating this like this or like that i'm just here to pick the mail up and then just the look on their faces it startled me 
because they seemed a little un uneasy on how... And you know what's really frustrating about that for me? Uh -huh. So the ladies that may not remember me for two years ago, because mm -hmm. I was literally wearing the exact same outfit, yeah. I wanted them to make sure they remembered me. Okay. They had the police down here, they initially trespassed me, mm -hmm. then the sergeant came down and said, whoa, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. They called all the way up, yeah. all the way up to the post office, and from the postmaster general's office, they're like, yeah, you cannot do that, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So then I came back and I thought, I'm gonna give it a couple years, come back and check this out again and see if we're good. Yeah. The blonde lady in there was part of this. She's on video raging out mm -hmm. on YouTube, okay. saying, you can't be here doing this. And then at the end, Sergeant Skelton from the Renton PD mm -hmm. was came in with me, literally the best cop in the universe. This is a guy you wanna clone and have be a police officer yeah, okay. everywhere, yeah. right? Okay. This guy you're like, clone, clone, clone. Um, anyways, he came in and he's like, sorry, but you know, this is just the way it is and you know, all that. Uh, if you want to watch the account for the first time, my channel is called I Am Free. It's Inland Auditing Media. I Am Free. Okay, I'll, I look, free. It up. I'll look it up right as I'm uh, yeah. done dropping out this express mail. But, you know, I'm... Jesus, man, if people could have 2% of your chill. Yeah, because I, like... I understand. I understand. <laughs> it's like, a, it's a two-way road. So it's like, yeah, the yeah. police isn't operating how they're supposed to. But, and you're doing what you, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to... Um, Affect change. Yeah, and spread awareness uh, on what's going on in the post office. I have no problem with that. Do what you do, brother. I just don't like how that, the look of the No, I get it. And that concerned. blonde lady in there, uh -huh. she could have quelled all of the concern immediately. She could have said, hey, guys, he was here two years ago. Mm -hmm. We squared everything away. He can do this. Okay. Problem is, the first lady at that window, like that left window, she lost her mind. She said, you can't film me. You can't film my face. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to put it there. I said, well, look, I mean, it's going on YouTube. It just is what it is. We're in public. Yeah, yeah. Um, right? I, I understand, yeah. You're just not having a meltdown. You doing, man? I ain't trying to stop you. <laughs> I ain't trying to stop you shining. No, no, I get man. it, man. I get it. All right. Hey, like, share, subscribe, and I am free. Oh, oh I got you. I had to yeah, throw I, that in there. I got you. All right, you take care. Excuse me. Am I what? An auditor. An auditor. What's like a journalist? I have known. I've been known to do journalistic things. Awesome. What makes one ask? I just saw TikToks the other day about people like filming in post offices. And oh, yeah. so you're a little onto the First Amendment auditing thing? I am. Uh, it turns out I was here two, just shy of two years ago. Oh, really? My videos online. My channel is called uh, I Am Free Inland Auditing Media. Okay. If you go there, you'll see my very first video posted is from here. Really? Had an absolute, complete, and utter meltdown. So really? two cops showed up, trespassed me. I went up to the police station, got their sergeant to come down, and on camera revoked the trespass, apologized on behalf of the city, and then uh, come inside with me and say he can be here because I had all the proper documentation, which would be all that. Wow. That's crazy. Well, so, yeah, it's, good luck to you. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's got to happen because, I mean, they're losing their mind today over it. They've completely yeah. gone bananas in there. So, exactly. that's, you can't get them to change. you got to keep coming back until yeah. they do. Of course. Of course. So, well, good luck to you. Thanks. Take care. You too. How's it going? Good. Good. <laughs> What's you up to? Just taking uh, photos and videos of anything I can see in public. Oh, cool. Yeah, just gathering content for a story. Cool. What yeah. kind of story? What's that? What kind of story? Well, it's a story on the post office. Oh, really? So it's about, uh, you know, how they respond to uh, people exercising their liberties in public. Yeah. So I'm wearing a public space. and Awesome. I came here and uh, did a story on it two years ago, and it didn't go well. Oh, and uh, so I decided to come back and see if their training that they were supposed to be getting uh, worked out well, and it turned out it didn't work out well. So now I'm here uh, reporting on it again. It's all you can do is, you know, yeah. just capture the problems and put it out to the public for consumption so you can get all your elected officials or whoever and say, we yeah. still need change. Yeah. It's the only way you can do it. Yeah. You know? well, it's good that you're uh, capitalizing on your record rights. That's awesome. Man. Well, you're damn fine American, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. That's great. How often do we see Americans like that, guys? Not very often. Not very often. Where's the police officer going by? Hey, you too, man. Hey.
Nice meeting you. Yeah, likewise. You want to check this uh, footage out? It's on my channel. I am free. We're not oh. media. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll go outside. Yeah, yeah. I'm a little blocked away. Yeah. <laughs> There's a police officer going by. Just looking to see if he was coming here. No, yeah. it's good. See, he drove by. At least the police learned. That's a positive thing. <laughs> so you're on YouTube, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah. Well, so I mean, just, I use the app. Yeah. So if you just search for Inland, Inland auditing. Uh, how do you spell that? I N L A N D. Uh huh. And then auditing A U D I T N G. Uh -huh. Media. Media. Uh, all so, one? No, it's all through three oh, separate words. Okay. And then I have it on my channel is I Am Free. I so am you'll see two years ago I was here. You'll yeah. see the, the failure that occurred. Yeah. And it unfortunately looks like it's a failure again this time. You said that uh, your website is I Am Free? Or the channel. Channel. Oh, the channel on YouTube is I Am Free, or and then the I Am stands for Inland Auditing Media. Uh, makes sense. Yeah. I Am Free YouTube channel. Yep. Okay. I've only got uh, three videos up currently, yeah. but uh, this will be, I'm redoing this one because I, like I said, two years ago, it just yeah. didn't turn out well, so. Yeah. Well, hey, best of luck, man. Yeah. And uh, thanks for fighting for our rights. Yeah, man. absolutely. Appreciate Take care now. Wow, I wish we could get all those Americans. Hi. Hello. Excuse me. Hey, guys. Alright guys, I just had to swap this out real quick because the police did show up. I want to get a fresh battery. How are you doing? Hey Sergeant, you got a moment? I absolutely have a moment. Uh, let's oh. talk here so we don't block anybody coming and going. Fair enough. How can I help you? So, I'm assuming... Oh, and just so you know, it seems like you're audio video recording me. I'm also audio video recording. It's just part of our protocol. Oh, that's right. You don't have to tell us in Washington State. Yeah, it's, there's no expectation of privacy here, so... No, I get that, but I like to be courteous. Oh, no, hey, uh, I appreciate that. Yeah. You were trying to be better than Sergeant Skelton, who is now famous on YouTube for probably being the most loved police officer on Earth because of my interaction with him two years ago, so you seem like a very nice guy. I am wanting to know if you're here because they had concerns about the filming in the post office. Yeah, that's exactly what they had yep. concerns over. I had no intention of contacting you because as far as I understand, you haven't done nothing that's been unlawful, but I uh, spoke with them regarding their concern. I addressed their concerns. I explained to them what is legal, what is not legal, and I let them know that, you know, you obviously can't threaten somebody with physical harm. You can't threaten somebody with, um, uh, you know, damage to property. You yep. can't block egress or egress from, from the building. Yeah. Uh, in terms of what you're doing, it's, it's not unlawful. I'm not sure why you're doing it. I'm not going to ask you why you're doing it. You, you have your own reasons. Um, but as long as you're not interfering with the customer base here, just so you know, a customer did call. Okay. He did not want contact from police, but he felt like you were, and this was what he told our dispatch center, he thought that you were uh, verbal, verbal and aggressive to both the staff and customers. He said that you were blocking customers. He didn't want contact. I did not witness that, so there's no violation in my presence. Sure. But as long as you understand that, you obviously can't block, block people. And it doesn't look like you have that. No, and it's all on uh, camera, anyways. I'm assuming the caller's name can be public. Can have a public records request associated with it. You're, you're, you're going to have to get with uh, okay. our department for. Yeah, that's unfortunate. He made a false claim like that. You, you can talk to the public, uh, or you can talk to our records uh, division over that. I made no contact with him. He didn't yeah. want contact. I, I do have a question. One of the reasons I came back here, I was here just shy of two years ago. Uh, two officers, one Reyes and the other guy, I can't remember, uh, came trespassed me. Sergeant Skelton revoked it. Apologize. said it was clearly not the right way to go. Um, investigated for about an hour and came to the right conclusion. Called all the way up to the post office top and said, yeah, this is okay. I came back because I wanted to make sure this is squared away because it sounds like the way you guys are responding right now is that you guys must have had some internal deliberation and conversation about what happened because the first two officers royally screwed up and then Sergeant Skelton saved the city from pretty significant litigation. And is just an amazing officer. And I wanted to see if it was going to hold true. 
So your guys' response has been exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, I wasn't sure if you guys were going to respond at all. Cause, I mean, probably the best response would have been to tell them to say if he's just filming and not doing anything wrong. Um, they wanted they wanted contact, and, and you know what? We're we're in the public service business. Yeah. And, and we contact people who want who are requesting police contact. Sure. And that, and that, that's what uh, what I'm here for. I make contact. You didn't request contact. So I didn't Correct. Contact. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. You guys have handled it perfectly, so I appreciate that. Uh, Is there anything else I can answer for you? No, nope, that's it. Okay. Really appreciate it. Oh, actually, do you have a business card? Do I have a business card? Yeah. Yeah, business yeah if I could get that, would be great. What's and, your yeah. name? And your name is Cordell? Uh, I'm Sergeant Cordell. What's, what's your name, sir? Uh, Gandalf. Uh, I'm sorry? Gandalf. Gandalf. Like the wizard. Gandalf. All right. There you go. There's my and what's your badge name? It's, uh, uh, oh, see my call sign is, uh, uh, six rubber one, but my uh, badge is nine six seven six. Okay, hey, so, so can I get yours as well? Uh, I have one in my car if you want to follow me out there. Yeah, yeah, sure. Perfect. Thanks. Yeah, wait. Sure. And if I could ask, just out of curiosity, yeah. and you don't have to tell me, but sure. just, why, why, why are you, why, I mean, why are you filming people? Yeah. What, what's well what's, the. The, the angle here is that there's a huge disconnect on a couple of sides. Uh, citizens not aware of what the actual law is. They believe that the social norms that have come about over decades are laws. Like they have privacy in public, for example. And the other one is that police, uh, not in all circumstances, but in a solid majority, respond incorrectly. And so what I'm trying to do is get it to the point where Hopefully, the end goal is dispatch will get a call. There's some guy filming in this place. Is he just filming? Yes. We're not responding to that. That's perfectly legal. He can film. I'm tr my, we're that, trying to that restructure was, the norms. That, that was my initial response to them. Uh, our dispatcher attempted to call them. It went to voicemail. Oh, okay. Um, and then they called back requesting contact. A citizen called as well. Sure. Yeah, and so that's uh, that's Thank that's you. why we came out here because we're not going to let somebody hang and wonder. Well, wait a minute. Do the police? Did they even not get respond. our call? Yeah, yeah. Um, so we do. We do. It's part of our public service, right? We're going to contact people when they sure. request to be contacted. Yeah. And then we every situation is different, right? So I asked them why they called, what they called about, what they witnessed, and then and then a lot of it's about education as well. Um, I have a, a completely unrelated question. Okay. Uh, because of the response from uh, Sergeant Skelton last time, out of about 3,000 comments, about 70% are, clone the man, he's the most amazing human being on earth, make him every police officer forever. Is he still retired, or is he still active? Because people are like asking a whole bunch, like, is he still an active police officer, or is he retired? He still works for our department. It's <laughs> amazing. Wow. You guys need to find a way to keep him alive forever. And I do mean that. I, yeah. Dark magic, ancient sure. rituals, call up the god Mars, whatever you gotta do. Gandalf, right? <laughs> yeah. I, I, you got magic powers, right? I wish I had those kinds of magic powers. I'm serious. My my uh, subscribers love that man. Like, love him to death. I have never seen people respond to a police officer so favorably. Like, they want him to quit and go be a permanent trainer, like, for all agencies in the universe. And I'm not kidding. You can go to my channel, I'll tell you what it is, and you'll see it. There's a car coming oh. through. I don't want you to get run over. They they love that man. Yeah. Like, a lot. Good. So, if, if you go to Inland Auditing Media, it's I Am Free, uh, you'll see it. There's currently three videos up. The first one is from here two I'll years ago. What, next time I see him, which won't be too long from now, I'll let him know that uh, he got favorable ratings or reviews. Uh, I'm glad he could represent our... From the auditing community, they don't like handing out, I'll just be honest, they don't like handing out kudos. When they saw him, and it was like, I swear to God, they I think Finky flies to work on a bald eagle screaming the national anthem at maximum level and just being awesome. I, that's sure, if that'd be somebody made that meme, see. we could print it off and put it around the department. What's that? Yeah. Somebody can make that meme, I'm sure, print yeah. it off and put it around the department. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna make that meme. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a GIF. I just yeah. need. I've got yeah, video card, footage of him. Email it right to me. <laughs> <laughs> he, he would love it. Yeah. Holy crap! So he's on 46 years. When is this man gonna just stop? Is he the Terminator? You know what? Here's the thing. He loves the community. That's awesome. He loves his job. Yeah, he does. And he's gonna continue doing it as long as uh, as long as he. Is able to do it. So. You're, you're super nice, man. I think there's an ulterior motive here. You're trying to 
supplant Sergeant Skelton. I don't know how these people are going to take to that. They're going to be like, he's trying to, he's trying to get in here. He's trying to elbow his way in. <laughs> you take care. Bye. All right, guys. Uh, so Renton PD responded very, very well. Uh, post office handled it awfully. Uh, they're just ridiculous in there. A uh, bunch of children uh, freaking out over regular liberties. The police department here, I think, got the message. They, uh, I think they did training. I'm not sure. But that response from those two police officers was really, really good. So I uh, am very happy about that. Um, that sergeant was really nice, too. I, I don't know if, like... This is a thing where like they knew and maybe they guessed that I had come back to audit it or whatever, but he uh, handled it really well. The other cop was very professional, so it's a good thing, guys. Um, so anyways, that's it for the Renton re-audit. Um, I'm going to head out and uh, that'll be that. So I'll see you later in the Seattle area.